Steven Pinker, The Blank Slate, The Modern Denial of Human Nature. Step into the intricate world of the human mind in this summary of The Blank Slate, The Modern Denial of Human Nature. Dissect the theories that have been debated for centuries and explore fascinating insights into how our minds work and why we behave the way we do. Renowned psychologist Steven Pinker challenges some of the most popular beliefs, including the blank slate theory, the noble savage theory, and the ghost in the machine theory. Discover how genetics and environmental factors contribute to our behavior, while examining the societal implications of these revelations. Delve into the powerful forces that shape humanity, from our innate creativity and need for self-expression to the cultural connections that shape our values. Theories of Human Nature The nature of the human mind has been a subject of fascination for centuries, with theories evolving over time. Religion used to primarily influence popular beliefs about the mind. However, with the introduction of science, we've come up with three primary theories. The blank slate theory asserts that humans are born with no inherent nature, and social influences shape their behaviors and customs. The noble savage theory, attributed to Rousseau, posits that humans are by nature selfless and peaceful, while society promotes violence. The ghost in the machine theory suggests that humans have two separate systems, one relating to the body and one to the mind, and the mind is too intricate to understand by simple mechanical terms. There's a fourth theory we'll explore next. These theories are also known as empiricism, romanticism and dualism. The falsehood of the blank slate theory. The blank slate theory, which posits that human behavior is solely learned and devoid of genetic predisposition, has been debunked by modern science. Our cultural behaviors are part of our evolutionary development, and while some may be arbitrary, they serve to coordinate our lives. Even language, a learned cultural skill, requires a genetic inclination to extract meaning and purpose. Genes and environmental conditions both play a part in shaping our cultural behaviors. Breaking down the walls of knowledge Science has shattered boundaries between fields of study over the centuries. Cognitive science and behavioral genetics are building bridges between the physical and mental worlds, disproving the blank slate, ghost in the machine, and noble savage theories. Genes play a significant role in shaping our behavior and personalities rather than our upbringing alone. Science has come a long way in unifying different fields of knowledge to explain life's mysteries over the past few centuries. The first wall was broken in the 17th century by Isaac Newton, who discovered the law of gravity, describing the movement of all objects in the universe. The second wall fell in the 19th century, proving life doesn't need any magical or supernatural elements, only the right combination of chemical compounds. Finally, the last wall standing between the physical and mental world is starting to crumble away. Science is building bridges between these two worlds such as cognitive science or the science of mind, founded in the 1950s. It is impossible for the mind to be a blank slate since it needs an underlying system to sort and apply information. Behavioral genetics is another field that explores how genes influence behavior. There is no such thing as a blank slate because we are born with certain genes that determine our behavior and personalities. Identical twins separated at birth still talk, behave, and act the same, indicating that even preferences stem from genetics rather than upbringing. These studies contradict the blank slate theory, ghost in the machine theory, and noble savage theory. The importance of genetic personality traits and behavioral genetics show that these theories are based on erroneous claims that society is the sole determinant of personalities and behavior. The Persistence of Blank Slate Theory Despite advancements in genetic science, blank slate theorists remain persistent in their beliefs. The decoding of the human genome in 2001 led many to believe that the mind might indeed be similar to a blank slate due to the smaller number of genes than expected. However, this number is misleading, and the true complexity of the human mind becomes apparent when considering all the possible gene combinations and interactions. In defense of the blank slate theory, 
connectionism and neuroplasticity are proposed but have limitations that do not apply to humans. For instance, humans can differentiate between general ideas and different examples, unlike artificial intelligence systems, and learning skills like playing the violin do not change genetically linked behaviors. The Controversial Theories on Human Nature the idea of a blank slate where everyone is born equal has been politically opposed by those who prefer the noble savage theory. In the 1970s, scientists invoked Marxist theory to support their claim that genetics should not shape anyone's brain and character traits. Meanwhile, religious groups like Christian fundamentalists defended the ghost in the machine theory, which suggests that the mind can transcend the body. These opposing views show how political and religious beliefs can cloud scientific research on human nature. Abandoning the blank slate. Facing the reality of innate differences and imperfectibility. In the 1970s, the blank slate theory offered a convenient illusion of equality to a world still grappling with the aftermaths of slavery and the Holocaust. However, abandoning this theory meant confronting the harsh truth of innate differences among individuals. The fear of genetic determinism leading to social discrimination and inequality was a significant concern, but it should not be used to justify social Darwinism. Moreover, a just society should provide social programs to help individuals with genetic disadvantages instead of discriminating against them. Another fear associated with abandoning the blank slate is the acceptance of human imperfectibility. If human beings are born with natural tendencies towards immoral and selfish acts, why bother fighting them? This argument is often raised in the context of feminism, particularly regarding the belief that men are born with selfish sexual impulses that can result in sexual assault. However, accepting imperfectibility does not mean tolerating or indulging in reprehensible actions. Our value system is based on the idea that a person's desires should not outweigh their right to control their body. Even though certain urges may be part of human nature, they should not be viewed as acceptable or justifiable. Overall, abandoning the blank slate theory means acknowledging and navigating the complexities of human nature, which requires a just and compassionate society that supports every individual regardless of their innate characteristics. The blank slate theory, exploring its implications. The blank slate theory's concept of complete control over a person's actions is now obsolete due to the recognition of the role that genetics play in shaping human behavior. This brings up concerns of determinism and nihilism. However, understanding human nature and genetics should not interfere with our legal and justice systems. While biology may provide a basic purpose to life, it doesn't have to replace the search for higher meaning. The brain, more than just processing reality. The human brain is an astonishingly complex organ designed to help us navigate our world and construct our reality. One of its primary functions is to categorize things and people quickly, leading to the creation of stereotypes. While some stereotypes may be grounded in statistics, others stem from our brain's need to classify and may not reflect reality accurately. However, the brain struggles with understanding abstract concepts such as modern physics and genetics as they have not been around long enough for people to develop this skill genetically. Education is necessary to fill this gap, enabling us to make sense of our world. The Complexities of Human Nature Humans cannot be slimmed down to either selfish egoists or selfless altruists. Our social needs and desires evolved from our biological imperative to cooperate in tribes for survival. While we have a mind capable of compassion and emotion, this compassion has limits and may not necessarily be in favor of communal living. Our elaborate moral sense, while impressive, isn't immune to errors and quirks. A family's decision to clean, prepare, and eat their dog after its death may be judged as wrong, but there is no rational explanation for why it is wrong. Our judgment is based on our evolved moral emotions. Human Nature and Politics The debate over human nature and its connection to politics has been long and difficult. Despite this, studies have shown that our political leanings may be hereditary, with identical twins displaying similar political preferences. While this doesn't mean our political views are predetermined, it does show that political parties have come to be populated by certain types of people. 
Conservatives, for example, tend to be more conscientious, authoritarian and stricter followers of rules. Violence is also linked to genetics, with evidence showing that violent tendencies may be inherited. While social conditions can contribute to violent behavior, the prehistoric archaeological record suggests that human conflict is not a new development. Even toddlers display violent tendencies before they have learned about war or weapons. Overall, it's important to recognize the complexity of human nature and how it shapes our beliefs and behaviors. The Myths of Gender Feminism In this book, the author debunks the notion of gender feminism and argues that men and women have different cognitive capabilities. While men tend to take more risks and have stronger mental manipulation of three-dimensional objects, women excel in spelling, matching shapes, reading facial expressions, and body language. However, this difference in the brain structure does not imply that one sex is superior to the other. Both show equal levels of general intelligence and feel the same basic emotions. The author emphasizes that having biological differences does not discourage feminism. Instead, understanding these differences can help to eliminate gender pay gap and discrimination. Laws of Behavioral Genetics All human behavioral traits are heritable. The impact of genes is greater than that of upbringing. Unique environments play a significant role in shaping us. In 2000, Eric Turkheimer proposed three laws of behavioral genetics that refute the blank slate theory. Behavioral traits are inherited, and this includes anything testable, like language proficiency, religious beliefs, or political leanings. Heritable traits do not include things like religion and language. Turkheimer's second law states that being raised in identical families do not significantly impact personality traits as much as genetic factors. Even with siblings raised in the same environments, they turn out differently from one another. Finally, Turkheimer's third law discusses the third significant influence in shaping personality, which is the unique environment an individual grows up in. The impact of unique environments accounts for up to 50% of the variation in human traits, while shared environments only account for about 0 to 10%. In contrast, genetic factors account for 40 to 50%. These laws of behavioral genetics suggest that while our genes certainly play a big role in shaping who we are, our upbringing and environment play a significant role too. The evolution of art and beauty. The arts aren't disappearing due to the innate desire in humans to express themselves. Art and beauty have an evolutionary basis rooted in our drive to mate. While some traditional forms of art may be declining, the desire for creative expression remains strong. The perception of art is subjective, and what is considered beautiful changes over time. Outdated theories like the blank slate and the noble savage fall apart under the scrutiny of modern scientific breakthroughs and the many revelations of genetic research. As we uncover the true complexity of human nature, we can better understand the dynamic interactions between our genes and the environment in which we live. While the abandonment of these comforting theories brings about fears of nihilism and determinism, it also presents an opportunity to explore our true potential. Understanding human nature presents us with the chance to create a compassionate and responsible society that embraces our unique characteristics, supports one another, and safeguards the incredible diversity of human experience. Accepting our nature as complex and ever-evolving opens the door to real growth and a deeper understanding of the beauty of humanity.